In a decorated police career spanning more than 40 years, Ron Idles has seen people at their best and their very worst. Now, Ron's announced his retirement from Victoria Police, but even now, Ron's still calling it as he sees it. After 43 years uh, in policing, uh, my journey uh, in public life is uh, slowly coming to an end. My life has been uh, planned and unpredictable, and uh, now I'd like it to be unplanned and uh, predictable. He's arguably one of Australia's greatest detectives. Ron would never want to be called that, but I'm happy to call him one of the best. Almost every crime imaginable, Ron Idles has worked desperately to solve. Child murders, gangland slayings and cases that rocked the entire country. What are some of the highlights of, of your career? Oh, look, I think uh, probably 25 years in homicide coming out of there unscathed and intact. Um, no doubt uh, receiving uh, an OAM, yeah. uh, which is an endorsement by uh, the community for my public speaking and raising, you know, about $1.5 million um, for charity. Idles has had a remarkable career. He's investigated more than 300 murders and had a conviction rate of 99%. Peter Dupas will serve a third life sentence without parole. Justice Philip Cummins branding him a psychopath. Today, announcing his retirement, the 61-year-old spoke of the most memorable cases he's investigated over a quarter of a century in the Victorian Homicide Squad. Uh, probably the last one that I did was Michelle Buckingham. It was um, 30 years old. In 2014, Idle's cold case investigation led to the arrest of Stephen Bradley over the 1983 murder of 16-year-old Michelle Buckingham. It's the state's oldest homicide case to lead to an arrest. I went to Michelle's mum, uh, Alvira, and I said, I think I can solve it. And she said, well, you know, the last detective told me that. Um, why should I trust you? I said, well, you'll have to trust me. She gave me a big hug and she said, Ron, I trust you and we were able to solve it, but sadly she didn't see the result because she died a week before the trial. Idles also worked closely on the investigations into the murders of Jill Maher, Elizabeth Membry, Jane Thurgood Dove and Messina Helvargas. His cold case investigation into the brutal 1982 murder of six-year-old Bonnie Clark led to the arrest of Malcolm Clark, who was jailed in 2004. I've known Ron Idles professionally and personally for more than 30 years and what sets him apart from the many other dedicated Homicide Squad detectives was his particular persistence in pursuing crimes decades after they happened, uh, forming close bonds with uh, the victims, uh, that, that is relatives of murder victims. Keith Moore is a senior investigative reporter for Melbourne's Herald Sun newspaper. Uh, Ron will be a big loss to the force, uh, both as an investigator and of the police association in, in his latest job. He's certainly one of uh, the best detectives Victoria's ever seen. In recent years, Idles has been the head of Victoria's Police Association. I've been privileged to, uh, for three years to represent uh, the 14,500 members of Victoria Police. But I've had a fantastic career uh, over 25 years at homicide, investigating over 300 homicides in this state. What are your views on the state of crime in Victoria now? I don't think that I've seen it as bad uh, as what I do um, today in 43 years of policing. That's partly around the fact that we have ICE. Uh, we have uh, a lot of people suffering mental illness. Crime is increasing. We have carjackings. We have home invasions, which we didn't have before. So, and we have our police officers being assaulted on a regular basis. Police cars have been rammed 135 times in the last 12 months compared to 35. We have the threat of terrorism, so the whole environment of policing has changed and it's a more dangerous occupation. What do you think needs to happen now in the years ahead to try and fix it, do you think? Oh, there's no doubt that uh, there needs to be more um, resourcing, there needs to be more uh, numbers. I think as a police force, it's about uh, having better technology. It's about looking at other models uh, around um, Australia and around the world, New South Wales crime rate is trending down, you've got to ask yourself why. Today the former detective also took aim at Victoria's court system. Whilst there are severe penalties for say aggravated burglary, you don't see it happening. So court sensing must uh, meet community expectations 
but I don't see that happening. The nature of the crimes that are being committed and the people and the ages of the people who are committing them, I think, is the most worrying, disturbing aspect of it. Greg Davies is Victoria's Victims of Crime Commissioner. There's no doubt Ron's done a lot of really good work. He'll be difficult to replace. He'll be missed, certainly, in policing circles. Um, but there comes a time when we all move on and uh, he's decided that now's the time. Uh, good on him and we all wish him well. You know, it's a bit like a footy game. I've played three quarters. I'm in the last quarter. I need to do something before the final siren and it's about me and my family now. Uh, sadly, not about um, what I've done in the past. It's an horrific... Now, game. after more than four decades in the police force, Idle says he's looking forward to spending more time with his family. My wife used to say, you built the sandpit, but you didn't play in it. And that's true, and I regret that. And hopefully in the future I can play in the sandpit. Yeah. Policing, a lot of times, is negative. Everything that you deal with is negative. It's about now dealing with some of the positive and good things uh, that are out there. All right, we're done. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. Ron Idle's officially retires in February next year.